for women career clock and uh, body clock move in different directions have a body at your uh, workplace have india standing at about 17% of women seats in the boardrooms the us recently celebrated women's equality day while back home Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that targeted results for Vision 2047 could be achieved by making the right use of women power. However, Global Gender Gap Report 2022 by the World Economic Forum, which came out in July, suggests that gender parity is still not really recovering. It will take another 132 years for the world to close the global gender parity gap. According to the report, as crises are compounding, women workforce outcomes are suffering and the risk of global gender parity backsliding has further intensified. Here is a status check on the challenges that women face getting into leadership roles and how the landscape has changed over the years in the finance sector. So women career clock and uh, body clock move in different directions and that is why it is very important um, if you have to balance uh, personal and professional life that you build an ecosystem that supports you i personally believe is very uh, important is that you need to have a buddy at your uh, workplace as well as in personal life we feel a lot at ease in dealing with a challenging situation both in work as well as in uh, personal life important thing is not to give up and again keep learning from uh, talk to somebody find out when they were facing the same situation how they dealt with it as the world looks to chart the road ahead edtechs have taken lead in upskilling employees let's find out how many women are participating in such programs and what are the key areas where firms focus on upskilling their female employees to prepare them for leadership roles we are yet to have a program or a cohort that we are running for companies or for a learning base that did not have a significant women representation uh with companies we have deployed programs for women uh, who either needed uh, to be retained as part of their uh, top women talent pool or to groom their high performing women employees into larger roles um so roles like data scientists full stack developers product management devops engineers are seeing a uplift among women learners and especially for new moms who are returning into the workforce at upgrad we see that about one third of a learner base across the board is that of uh women learners from an investment made by companies perspective this ratio goes even higher so in the last one year we've observed about 42% of our entire learner base comprises of women and these are the investments that companies are making well while companies are encouraging women to upskill the picture still looks quite grim we also spoke to recruitment firm teamlease to find out how hiring trends have changed over the years women careers uh, in leadership role that has actually led to a drastic change in the leadership roles that are led by women uh, however if you look at the statistics we still have india standing at about 17% of women seats in the boardrooms uh while uh, the leadership level uh, count is much more but in reality the problem still lies in lies in women being in the c suite roles uh if i look at a split uh, from an industry standpoint we have life sciences and healthcare surprisingly at about 21% of women in board uh, seats followed by tech and telecommunication media at about an 18% and largely the financial services uh, and manufacturing at about 16% Uh, however you look at what has drastically changed in the last few years is basically the innovation and the tech involvement uh, along with the shift towards the uh, massive growth has led to this roles being more uh, available for women at leadership at c suite well that cultural shift and increasing numbers seem promising but my colleague nishtha pandey spoke to a few women team leads in at least 3 it companies they told us about how many times they are still paid lower for the same position as their male counterparts when they are promoted there are lewd comments about them getting the position even at the time of hiring they are often asked if they are planning to get married anytime soon or if they may soon take a maternity leave another major concern that they cited was that there's not enough senior female leadership within the system that they can look up to for mentorship well while we are on the path to women empowerment looks like there's still a lot to be done